screen for cheaper than this in Canada. So this is a full featured touch screen phone. <clears throat> it's got email, web, full data capability. Um, it's a 3G device and it is the cheapest 3G touch device, as I said, in the, in the country. So it's a great price leading device for us and we're pretty excited about it. Who's the manufacturer of Years ago. Um, we have a great selection of smartphones actually because the band is the same band as T-Mobile has deployed in the U.S. for their entire 3G network. So they have some 30 to 40 phones in the, in the band, so we have probably quite a, a depth of, uh, of smartphones and full feature phones available for us. Um, being AWS, because Wind is also AWS, yep. what would stop a user, like the price point of the bold for on mobility is more expensive than Wind, what would stop them from buying and bringing over? Um, nothing, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're about servicing our customers yeah. with network service. Um, handsets are obviously an important part of that, and if someone from Wayne came over with a BlackBerry, we'd be happy to, you know, activate them. I mean, we really wouldn't uh, have a problem with that. Um, you know, we like to think of our price points as quite competitive, and especially on uh, on the lower end. I think we're, we'll find compared to, to others that we're, we're quite competitive, and that's what we're proud of. Do these are one on well? Uh, no, just getting over cold, so people talk to We're not um, too concerned about uh, problems with other networks on our network. Uh, you know, as, as Dave will tell you, we're, we're more about activating the, the SIM than activating the handset, so we're, we're not, we're not network stops. We'll, we'll, we'll take all comers. If you have an AWS device, a Nexus One, for example, which also is fully compliant on our network, uh, works great. Uh, we have folks in our office with Nexus Ones. So we want to bring that over. We'll throw a SIM in it and activate it for you. We're, we're happy to take all, all AWS devices wherever they may be from. Okay, so we'll move on to, I guess, Sharon to talk about network. The network at launch will be a release, the latest release of HSPA technology. What we've also done in our network build plans is we've ensured HSPA plus capabilities in the network, which allows us to grow our business plans by simple software additions into the network. Quick, easy to deploy. What we've done is focused our coverage to suit our business plan and our Spectrum license holdings. We're launching a network that encompasses the greater Toronto area, reaching from the Oakville, Mississauga border in the west, across the lake, to the Scarborough Pickering border in the east, and extending far north up into the Brampton, Vaughan, Richmond Hill, and, market, and Markham uh, markets. This uh, the demographics for our business plan, it's a great footprint in its size for a new network launch. Uh, what we've also done, which is very important, is when we were detailing our specifications for our coverage plans, we wanted to ensure quality experience for our customers. What we've done is mandated in our technical specifications, 95% coverage availability within the Mobilicity Unlimited footprint. What does that mean? That means you're getting a best-in-class network at launch going into a new market. This is very important to compete in an industry that has mature incumbents, as well as to ensure that we're providing the best new entrant network into the network. I'm sure you may have some questions surrounding the network. I'm happy to take any of those questions. Sorry, is that your, is that your final network around Toronto? Will it, will it grow bigger? That's a terrific question, thank you. Uh, any network at launch suits the purpose for the technical specifications to grow the network. There are two areas that then become a focus as your business plans evolve and your customer base grows. Two of those are one, ensuring that within the existing footprint, to ensure that as your customer base grows, you're maintaining the performance of that network. So at launch, we're meeting that 95% coverage objective from day one after launch is continue to add sites, add capacity, add optimization within the existing unlimited footprint area. What we'll also do then in the second aspect is that we will work very closely in collaboration with our sales and our marketing departments as well as understanding what our customer um, growth and interests are and look at uh, an uh, expansion footprint that partners the best of those uh, business plans that we would have. Uh, again, at this point in time, we're launching the unlimited Mobilicity GTA footprint. Uh, what we will do is rely on uh, the capable people in sales and marketing 
uh, to uh, provide us direction from a network perspective with regards to what markets we'll expand into first. We're also, of course, working on bills in other markets as well. I was going to say, and, and what about Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, Victoria? So the network team needing to have a long lead time to deliver the markets, we're very, very active in all four of the additional markets we've spoken about delivering this year. That includes Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, and Ottawa. My teams are very involved in those markets as we are with our partner Ericsson. Mobility Unlimited footprint uh, is unlimited. When you go outside of the footprint, in this market and any other, other markets that we deliver, uh, standard roaming rates will apply and that Sarah has referenced. Standard roaming rates. That means... Uh, and we've got a footprint, I'll use your example. We have, a, we have our Toronto Unlimited footprint. We have our Calgary Unlimited footprint. Mobilicity to mobilicity calls between those two markets are unlimited. It is only when you extend outside of the footprint coverage of any of our new markets that roaming rates will apply. Sorry, just to be clear, mobilicity to mobilicity. In other words, if you're if you're phoning someone else in the mobilicity network in who, another market area, it's unlimited calling. To the city, or do you mean to somebody else who has a mobilicity phone? I do mean mobilicity to mobilicity. In the coverage. Yes. It's required, and uh, will deliver uh, a quality <coughs> roaming experience uh, in the weeks to come. Howard, to answer your question, if you're in the mobilicity unlimited network, and you've got, say, the $45 plan for unlimited Canadian long distance, you can call anybody in Canada unlimited. You can talk to anybody anywhere in the country unlimited. If you're in the footprint, the features are unlimited. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Great. If you have a North American plan. If you have the... If you have the right plan, of course. Yeah. Do you pick the plan you want. Right. As opposed to, it doesn't work for the $15 plan. No. But if, if you have somebody on the $15 plan, if I have a Vancouver customer in the mobile, uh, in the mobile city footprint, and a Toronto customer in the mobile city footprint, they can talk unlimited. But all of our corporate branded stores are going to look like. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., there will be 35 of these stores opening up around the greater Toronto area. Brampton, Mississauga, Markham, Scarborough, Toronto, and all of our coverage area, you'll find stores throughout. On top of those 35 branded corporate locations, there's almost 200 other locations where you'll be able to buy mobile service will be opening in the next couple of days. There'll be a total by Wednesday of next week of 250 distribution locations open where you'll be able to buy our products and services. Right? So extensive, extensive distribution all over the territory. The widest distribution network of any wireless carrier currently in the marketplace. Sorry, these lo locations in malls. There'll be locations freestanding like this. There'll be uh, locations that do other things. For example, uh, there'll be people that do computer sales. There'll be people that do computer repair. People that sell unlocked GSM phones, convenience stores, grocery stores. Anywhere where our customers are, we will have a distribution outlet where they can buy their phones or pay their bills all over the city. Convenience and simplicity is what we're looking for for our customers. Can you pay online? You can pay online with your credit card or uh, instant debit. You can do pre-authorized debit uh, with us. You can do, uh, you can pay uh, through our call center. Uh, our number is 1-800-8-MOBILE-8. It's available tomorrow morning. You can pay there. Uh, you can also pay at any of our stores. What's the address? Yeah, you can come in tomorrow morning, buy your monthly plan, and be on service tomorrow morning. You have your carrier license from the CRTC? We received approval last week, Howard. You have your carrier license from the CRTC. Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> we wouldn't be here if we wanted <laughs> <laughs> um, Happy to answer any other questions you might have. Other than that, uh, we actually have food uh, coming. We have lots of drinks. We're happy to do uh, interviews. You've met the members of my executive team. Um, they're happy to answer any questions.